As we have heard in the question, and the, we have two glaucoma and optic disc related measurements in glaucoma, the minimum rim width and the retinal nerve fiber layer. And the question is, of course, which is the best? Do they perform the same? How they do in early glaucoma? Early glaucoma diagnostics is very important also economically, not only for the patients, because the earlier you diagnose the glaucoma, the lower the burden of um, expansions from the health system is. The later you diagnose glaucoma, the more, the more expensive the disease becomes. So when we get back to our topic, we have two measurements related to glaucoma concerning the optic disc and papillary area. That's the new rim measurement, as we have introduced it in the last talk, and the retinal nerve fiber layer measurement peripapillary around the optic disc. Um, as I said in the answer to the question of our chairperson, um, both measurements measure something related to glaucoma, but the structure they measure are completely different. So when you look at the surface of the optic disc, histologically, 64% of the volume is covered by axons. We want to measure axon loss, but 36% of this tissue is composed of capillaries, astrocytes, which, which also go down in the course of the glaucoma disease, but to another extent when the retinal nerve fiber layer. Also, the optic disc has a large variability concerning the size and uh, the shape of the optic disc, so every measurement at the optic disc area is related to a very large biological noise. When you look at the retinal nerve fiber layer measurement around the optic disc, the retinal nerve fiber layer is a rather simple structure, and only 10% of this layer consists of retinal vessels. 90% of the layer we want, would like to measure uh, going down in the course of the glaucoma disease. And there are several papers in the literature comparing both measurements in answering the question um, how do they perform in early glaucoma diagnosis? And the first um, paper from John was very um, optimistic concerning the minimum rim width, and they found a higher sensitivity in diagnosing glaucoma for this measurement in comparison to nerve fiber layer measurement. Colleagues from France, Poyer Villard, they were skeptical about it, and you see in the blue frame. Um, patients from their study with early glaucoma and the performance of sensitivity to diagnose glaucoma was better with the nerve fiber layer measurement than with the minimum, minimum rim width. From our group, Gmeiner, in 2016, we also compared both measurements in early and progressed glaucoma. Again, look please at the look, blue box. You will see that um, also here the sensitivity to diagnose glaucoma is higher for a nerve fiber layer than for the minimum, minimum rim width measurement with the OCT. Let's take an example again, an early parametric open angle glaucoma patient with a beginning visual field defect um, paracentrally on the right hand eye and in the upper box you see the measurement of the neurotonal rim width in comparison to the normal population. You see a lot of red sectors and if you look at the nerve fiber layer measurement in the box beneath, you will see that um, there are a lot of green sectors and only the temporal superior and temporal inferior sector is flagged out in red. So this is a discrepancy between both measurements. Rim width flags uh, a larger amount of damage than the retinal nerve fiber layer. So when you look at the posterior pole measurement as a kind of referee between both measurements, you are also convinced that this patient has a problem and you should treat him. And please note that this patient has a rather small disc with 1.35 square millimeter of um, Brooks membrane opening area. In the paper from Gmeiner, we also investigated the influence of the opening area or the disc size of the Brooks membrane opening, and we divided our group in small BMO area and large BMO area, taking 1.8 square millimeter as a cut point. And what we found is that when you look at the two columns on the left-hand side in pre-parametric early glaucoma, in small optic discs, 
the rim measurement MRW performed better than the nerve fiber layer, but in the large disc, the nerve fiber layer performed better than the um, minimum rim width measurement at the optic disc. So you have to be aware of what kind of patient you are measuring in order to estimate the amount of diagnostic capability of both measurements. Here we see a patient from 2014, 16, 17, slowly progressing, indicated by the loss of retinal nerve fiber layer in the temporal inferior area. The optic disc rim looks quite nice, but this nerve fiber layer is quite well visible also on the Beamer slides. When we follow up this patient, excuse me, with the visual field in 2014, the patient still has a normal visual field, and then we have the nasal uh, notch in 2016 and 17, with um, in 2016 the visual field being worse than in 2017. When we look at the nerve fiber layer progression with the old ring around the optic disc, not with the glaucoma module, we already see in 2012 that the nerve fiber layer is going down in our regression analysis. And when we take the glaucoma module with the three rings around the optic disc, we also realize when we analyze the uh, temporal inferior sector that on the right lower, um, in the right lower box, that the nerve fiber layer regression goes down, indicating that the patient loses nerve fiber layer. And you see the first and the large image flickered here, and where the arrow is, you nicely appreciate that the nerve fiber layer goes focally down, and in the infrared picture, the dark area becomes larger. When we look at the uh, minimum rim width measurement at the optic disc, you also realize that the measurement goes down in, the, in this uh, sector and very parallel to the nerve fiber layer measurement. And here also, between the both arrows in the lower box, you see how the rim changes, becomes thinner at this temporal inferior edge, but you also see that the choroid is not always the same. The choroid is, is thicker and thinner, just moving the Brooks membrane. This, this makes us think whether the Brooks membrane ending is really a very stable biological platform for the measurement of the rim. We don't know, but as this, you see it in this picture, the choroid is something living. It's not dead, but it's something living and changing, also changing our measurements. And in the follow-up for the follow exam, up examination, rim measurements and nerve fiber layer was compared by Burgoyne from Portland and his group, and they found that when they compared the nerve fiber layer thickness, the rim width, and the rim area, that the nerve fiber layer thickness still showed in the early stages of the disease more progression than the measurements of the optic disc, so that they say that the nerve fiber layer thickness measurement may be preferable to monitor change. So summing up and saying thank you to you for listening is that the nerve fiber layer still is a little bit more sensitive than the rim measurement in the cause of the disease and for diagnosing early glaucoma. Thank you very much.